grocery haul. Yay! Okay. I went to Super Walmart because I needed to get my oil, which I can only find at Super Walmart and Target. This stuff is great. It's coconut cooking oil and it's unflavored and odorless. So it doesn't taste like coconut or anything like that. And I use it for, um, you know, sarin, not sarin, sauteing stuff and whatever I would use basically olive oil for. So I picked up two of those. They're not cheap. They're like, I think like seven bucks. But you'd be surprised how long this little bottle lasts. So two of those, some Thousand Island dressing for grilled turkey and cheese sandwiches with Thousand Island dressing. Some tomato basil pasta sauce. I got this one for me. I got a small bottle of olive oil. This is something new. Well, it's not new. The Walmart carries this Wild Oats brand, and this is macaroni and cheese. I thought I would let Dave give this a try, see if he liked it. No artificial flavors up the air, but every once in a while he likes mac and cheese. Some pasta for me, penne, corn, I believe I got two cans of these. Uh, yes, I did. Some Italian white wine vinegar. This is for my potato green bean salad. One little packet of Italian salad dressing. This actually goes on the con. Let me grab another bag. Oh, I got some very pretty baby roses. Look at how cute they are. They're so little. I love yellow. There's like two bunches in here and it was nine something. I thought that was a good deal. I'm gonna stick them in the fridge for now. Cherries, they had cherries. I finished that whole batch that I had. Well, the family had some too. Oh, these I never bought before, I don't think. I got them for Dave to try. He loves anything lemon. These are mini lemon bites. It's a uh, little cake lemon glaze. I don't know. I got some Greek yogurts for Brooke. I hope these are the right ones. She likes the Greek yogurt with the little container that has things in it that you can put in the yogurt. So this one is chocolate and hazelnut, which sounds really good. This one too, banana yogurt with dark chocolate, honey roasted almonds. And I got her this one is caramel yogurt with salted pretzels, chocolate and praline pecans. I hope she likes those. I got these for her too. I know she'll like these. Sargento came out with these. They're uh, new. And they're just little containers. I'll open it up. Like this. And it has, one side has fruit and nuts and one side has cheese. I figured she could take these to work. She likes stuff like this. Natural white cheddar cheese, sea salted roasted almonds and dried cranberries. Those are for Brooke. I needed some more vegan butter. Super Walmart always has this lemonade iced tea that we all like. And it's only two bucks too. So I got two of those. These are new and I'm all excited to try them. I go on and on telling you guys that I don't buy a lot of this, you know, fake meat stuff. And I think the last three weeks I have bought it. But seriously, I usually don't. Um, you know, you gotta be careful with this stuff because just cause something's vegan doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean it's good for you or healthy. This is still processed food and you know, it still has a lot of salt and stuff like that in it. So this is barbecue pocket meals. So it's like a little bread bun with fake barbecue pulled pork in it. 
and this brand is just so good, so I'm sure they're going to be good. But I had to give those a try. I totally passed up my meatless chicken tenders that were so good. <laughs> but I did get those. Uh, let me grab another bag here. We have these. I have not seen this brand before, and it actually doesn't have anything in it that I can't have. So I was all excited because I really like this, you know, the little onion pieces that you put on your salad or something. Here they show it on a burger, which I bet that's good too. Um, but they're iron ring bits. This brand here, it's all it has in it is onions, palm fruit oil, wheat flour, and salt. So I was all excited about that. Some noodles, four cheese, pasta. We needed some freezer bags. This brand, this Walmart brand for the Ziploc bags is such a good price and they're like excellent too. This is what? Cheddar and broccoli. Um, what do you call these? Uh, uh, what do you call these? Like grot, rotten scallop potatoes. There we go. How many of you were yelling that at me? These sounded really good. Honey roasted sunflower seeds. Well, kernels. But they're honey roasted. They have, they have honey in them. Sunflower kernels, sugar, sunflower oil, honey. That sounded good. I wanted those. And then I spotted these, too. Glazed pecans. And I love glazed pecans. So I thought I'd give these a try. These are so good that it's, you know... Probably a good thing I only go there once in a while because I would probably eat these constantly. They are by Sensible Portions. They're veggie puffs. And they have all different flavors, but this one doesn't have dairy in it. They have a sour cream and onion that has dairy in it, a cheddar that has dairy, and they have a tomato basil, I think, but I didn't check that one. And they're so good. I got two bags of them. Um, what do we have in here? Oh, yeah. I needed some more glass cleaner, and this Walmart brand is only like a buck something, and it works better than the name brand stuff. So I was just about out of that. I picked up a little pair of shots, too. I thought these were cute. They're really comfy. I tried them on. They had all different colors. They had pink, orange, uh, purple. I was going to get the purple, but I got this light blue. And they are comfy. Okay. Is that it from Walmart? I don't know. Let me check. Okay. That's it for Walmart. So now from Market Basket, we have... Bacon. That's for... The family's Brussels sprouts. Turkey. Walmart's carrying this new brand now, Water Hill Naturals. So I, I looked at it with the thin and trim, which is what I usually get them because it's low with sodium. And this one is up on the sodium compared to the thin and trim by, let me see, by 50 milligrams. So I'll probably stick with the thin and trim, but this has, you know, just very minimal ingredients in it. And the thin and trim is, is good too, but it has a couple other ingredients in it. So I just thought I'd get this for them to try out. Um, that's for the grilled turkey and cheese. We have boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Brooke asked for apricot chicken thighs this week. We have a expensive cooking package of steak for steak and cheese subs. I haven't made those for them in a while. So I just take this steak and I grind it in my meat grinder attachment on the KitchenAid. Look at this! Frozen yucca. Who knew? I didn't know. Did you guys know? I didn't know there was frozen yucca until I seen another YouTuber with frozen yucca. I was so excited. 
So I got it to try out. I'm wondering if, you know, it will be as good as the fresh stuff. I don't know. And I am going to try boiling it like one of you guys told me. So I'll do that. And, you know, I'm, I'm wondering, that might actually be the way that I had it originally was boiled. But we're going to give it a try. I'm all excited about that. Okay, I have a ridiculous amount of slushies here. I, you know, we like them. My family likes them. So, we eat them. <laughs> they have a ton of sugar in them. So I wouldn't, you know, make a habit out of eating them often. But they got some new flavors. Dave is going to be all excited about this. This is a root beer. So I got a couple of those. Well, three of them. Root beer slushy. My favorite, the blue vanilla. Can you guys see? Am I showing you? We have a strawberry. Dave wanted some more blue raspberry. I got him some of those. A banana. He wanted some more lemon. And they had lemon lime this time too. I think he'll really like the lemon lime. Another blue raspberry and another lemon lime. Next we have some portabellas, some strawberries, we got two containers of strawberries. The portabellas I'll use and saute with some peppers and that will be my steak and cheese. It's delicious. More of these veggie fries that I like in the flavor carrot and potato. Same as I got last time. Iron rings. These are my favorite iron rings. Some scallions. Brussels sprouts. Velveeta for the family's chili and cheese hot dogs. Some almond milk. We're getting there. Let me throw these in the freezer. Mmm, my popcorn. <laughs> this is that kettle corn that I like. We have smushed bread. That's lovely. Bread for the family. And then I found this. Limited edition by Arnold. Everything bread, you know, like an everything bagel. I was so excited. Brooke will probably like this too. That's gonna make nice toast. I have a yellow pepper, zucchini, one more bag. Oh, I bought, <laughs> I bought this popcorn too because. So I used to eat the red bag, right? And I liked it so much. And then I tried this one, and I really liked this. And then I couldn't remember which one I liked better. So I bought them both to try. We have foil. Got two of those. I like these ones. They're in the sheets, you know, you just pull it out quick. Mmm, my favorite fork choy. A nice little bag of that. Black olives, we were all out. Apricot jelly for the chicken. And this is new. Coconut water with lychee. Lychee? I love lychee. So I wanted to give this a try. I'm not really a fan of coconut water, but I really like lychee. So I thought I'd give it a try. See if it's any good. And that is everything. The grocery store I went to did not have the raisins that I buy. I don't think they're carrying them anymore. The Newman's Own raisins. But they didn't have those, and what else? What else didn't I get? Hmm. Raisins and something. I don't remember. Let me check my list. Oh, pineapple. Oh, and ham. I buy the... Brooke asked for ham steaks this week, and I buy the thin and trim ones because they're lower in sodium. And the market basket that I went to didn't have them. But the market basket near my house does, so I'll pick those up there. Um, 
Right. Okay, guys. That is it. That's the grocery haul for the week. I might have to pick up some more veggie. Actually, maybe not, because I still have some in the fridge. Yeah, it might be good. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.